AI can go ahead and code, design, test everything. So, what is the AI skills that we can do right now? And in this video, I'm going to break down the top six AI skills which I feel is going to be relevant in 2025 and 2026. And I have done a lot of research and analysis on what are these AI skills that can still make you money and who still won't be irrelevant. A lot of you have asked this question about will AI replace coders, will AI replace testers but still with every new AI update there are some new AI jobs which are opening up but you need to have the skills ready for that. So in this video I am going to break down those skills which are required. So let's get right into it. The number one skill that you should know is no code AI app development. Now there are a lot of no code tools. I recently demoed a lot of this on my channel using Replit and I also used String Horizons. So there are a couple of things that you can go ahead and try out. And if you're able to go ahead and build no code AI apps, then you definitely have an advantage because there are a lot of people who have an idea, but they are not able to bring that idea to execution. And if you build an app and you actually publish it on any app store, you might start earning money from that. So no code AI app development is not just for your toy apps, but actually for production grade apps, at least Replit's a app can go ahead and build that. So go ahead and start learning the skill of no code AI app development, or it's also informally known as white coding. The second skill, which is absolutely very important and that you need to know is no code AI agents development. Now AI agents are everywhere. To give you a little bit overview about what AI agents are, Agents can go ahead and do things completely autonomously, so they don't require guidance or input from you. You can go ahead and build an AI agent and that will that thing will keep running for us. And Reflex Agent V3 can go ahead and code for at least 3 hours straight without any guidance. And once it is built, it can go ahead and it can act like a personal assistant or more, not just an assistant, it can do a lot of things. But you need to know what you can build with that AI agent. So no code AI agent, you can use platforms like Make or NADM. And these, if you're able to start with something simple, if you're able to do that and you go ahead and progressively start building complex agents, you can go ahead and sell your AI agents as well. And there are a couple of websites where you can go ahead and sell AI agents. I recently came across agents.ai this is a site which i currently figured out that people are creating their AI agents and they are listing it there some are free some are paid so you can start earning money from creating and selling AI agents and let me know if you would like me to make a video on how you can sell an AI agent just comment in the video below and i'll make sure to cover that the number three skill that you require is workflow automation Yes, using tools like Enetain, a lot of companies are looking for this. They require, there are a lot of workflows and currently traditional companies are not really that innovative with AI. So if you are able to do that and you are able to provide that value to them, you can go ahead and start making money from workflow automation. The number four skill that you require is API integrations for AI workflows. Now, APIs are going to be a API Knowing what APIs are, how you can connect an HTTP endpoint, how you can get that secret keys, connect it, integrate into your AI workflows is a very crucial skill that I feel that software engineers can really excel at because we are already doing that in our work. So if you are able to do that using AI agents as well, you are golden. You can actually start earning a lot of money from that. So knowing how to work with APIs, especially with this new AI changing scenario, is going to be a definite very good skill which I feel that can make you a lot of money going in 2025 and 2026 as well. The fifth skill is multimodal prompt engineering. Multimodal prompt engineering means that you're able to generate text, images, videos, audio. So if you are very good at prompt engineering, this is a great AI skill to have because literally everything is based on prompt engineering and what kind of context and prompt you're able to give. Prompt engineering and context engineering is a very good skill which I think is going to be very relevant and I believe it's going to be very relevant going forward in 25 and 26. The sixth and the final skill that I think is going to make you money in 2026 is going to be is custom AI model training. So can you, most of the companies, we know that AI models are trained on public data, but most probably when you are in production system, you require that model to be trained on your company's database. So are you able to 
understand how to get these models onto your laptop, how to host them, how to train it on the data, and how to do vector embeddings. So these are some things that if you're able to understand how you can customize your model, train it on your data, this skill is very crucial and a lot of companies are looking for that. So even let's say a company wants to go ahead and build a customer service agent board, they still want to train that agent on their own data. And that's it for the video. I hope you liked it. And make sure to comment about what you think you don't understand. And I'll definitely make a video on how you can start building and selling AI agents. And I'll see you in my next one. Until then, bye.